How are you doing here? Okay, this uh, laptop is, um, it ran, this is the actual laptop that I've been working on, <clears throat> thing, trying to turn it into a server. I mean, I've got, got Fiddler 29 server on it. And uh, it's been a couple of days I had to do other things, but I turned it, left it running last time. And when I got up the next day, uh, it was it was not running, and all the lights were off. And finally, just about 10, 20 minutes ago, it dawned on me. And I saw when I got up today, after I, I looked up at it, and one green light was on. And <coughs> I just realized I can uh, carry this camera around. I'll carry it over there and show a close-up. Um, so there's the one green light that's on. And... I just stuck these magazines up in front of it so that I, you know, well, the light wouldn't bother me whenever I went to bed. And uh, <clears throat> here's the problem: why, <laughs> why it went down. That's where it's plugged in, and I turn that power strip off every night, and I go to bed. So I need to have it in an uninterrupted, uninterrupted power. Of course, it's not going to be completely uninterrupted, but what do we got down here? I think I'll try and move this camera somewhere. There we go. This is got a long enough cable here, but not real long. The the uh, this one here is not very long. Let's see. I think if I put it there. Oh yeah. No, I'm not good at at one-handed work and that one hand in the video. I'm not good at it at all. So, uh, sorry. That's why I usually set everything on a tripod. I am not at all, especially with a phone, it's really hard to, they're so easy to throw around. So, uh, <coughs> down here, I have a power strip that I always plug my, uh, I'm just going to do this tonight, I guess, because... This is what I always, oh, it'll go. I don't think my, uh, I have my uh, mixer, my Behringer mixer, and my uh, uh, that's what I thought. I don't think I can plug it in with that in there. This little three-way thing is what I've been using. I need to do something different anyway, but I don't really have a way that I know of. But anyway, that I don't turn off. And uh, I've been wanting to put that thing on something with a switch. I get real tired of having to get down there to do that. But, uh, okay, so that didn't make it do anything. I didn't think it would, but I wasn't sure. So the light's back on. I guess I could have shown it off, but you know, when you unplug them, that, that's shown that it's plugged in. That's what it did. So uh, I'm just going to touch that. Yep, it woke up. So it was in hibernation. It hasn't completely. There it goes. So uh, you should, we should come up with the uh, command. Yeah. Oh, it's, it was shut down all the way, booting up. Okay, and what had happened, it was on battery. Well, that battery will last two hours. I know that because I forgot to plug it in the last time I worked on it. And uh, so it lasted two hours before it started giving me a warning, so I plugged it in. And you can see part of that white. I'm leaving it close because you can see the words better. If I set my elbow on the monitor, well, the monitor moves. My 23-inch my, my monitor, I can't tell where I'm at. Can't see the borders of the screen. It doesn't. Uh, Why it washes everything out? It hasn't come up yet, though. I, I can look around the camera and see. I was watching it through the camera. It hasn't finished moving. Usually, you see the uh, the. Uh, <coughs> 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 Sorry. Usually, you see the. There it is. Finally. Usually you see the command line. There we go. That makes it show up better. Oh, and it's done. 
So there it is. Uh, get too close, it just gets blurry, doesn't it? Okay, so uh, it's booted up. It's running. The server's running now. And so now we've got uh, yellow and two greens. I forgot what the yellow means. But uh, that's how... I think it normally runs with just the two greens. and it might, That yellow one may go out in a little while. I'll see. But I'm going to let it run tonight. And uh, there, I can't tell. Uh, th this, I can't really use, even though this is bigger than a, like the old cameras that had the eyepieces you had to look through, you generally stayed looking through them and you could see where you were going. And I, I used to be fairly good at running camera, real cameras. But uh, these phone screens are really hard for me to make out. What these little ones, especially, are really hard to make out what's on them. So anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to let it run all night and see if uh, now this got uninterrupted power, <laughs> sort of. See if it uh, stays running. Seems like that thing has maybe moved. The box I have it set on. It seems like it's. I don't know. Maybe it was already crooked, but. Doesn't scoot good on there, which is actually a good thing. This is this is just temporary. That's not how I would leave it. Normally, I'd have a computer there. And if I did leave it there, I'd, it'd be sitting on top of a computer. But couldn't be one that's very slick or well with it setting that way. It's got some rubbery legs at the bottom that do grip. I set them on this computer, and and when you turn it that way, then the well, I was turning the you know the monitor, leaning, all that stuff's in the way. You couldn't put, open the lid. And uh, anyway, but if you turn it crossways and try to lean the lid up in the window which wasn't any good it wouldn't stay it it just it wouldn't even stand up because the it would slip it would slide but there's some pretty good rubber feet underneath there and uh and they actually do they're close enough together that they actually caught that other computer so maybe some you know if i had it I was sitting on my one of my what i used to usually always have been using for a server like the net pro max or something it might sit on that. Now, I don't know what I'm not sure from what I'm going to put back up there now. That thing, uh, the Ethernet card. That's why I was trying to make that into a server, that laptop into a server, because the Ethernet onboard Ethernet quit working, and I've got you know PCI cards I can put in there. But that was a gigabit, and I'd like it to work, so I want to try to figure it out, see if it's actually broken, or if it. Uh, um, and that, that I can't stand. That's like having another light on. So I just got some magazines and put them up there. So it's a new mag. It's my new magazine rack. It's a display rack for my magazines. It's actually an advertisement in a magazine. But uh, anyway, uh, that doesn't bother me at night. That way, that's okay. So I'll let it run tonight and see um, <clears throat> see if it runs. I was thinking and thinking about how I might have to do to try to fix it and uh, and that and that in the hard drive. And I was just thinking I don't think it's going to work. But uh, uh, well, might as well say I was kind of wanting to wait and, and show it when it gets here. But uh, I. Uh, Go ahead and put this up. It'll it'll quit on me. I forgot it's it's on the battery right now. See if it if it doesn't kill the video. Sometimes plugging the power back in kills the video. Okay, so uh, I don't know how high or low it that is. No, it shouldn't be cutting me off because I tried to get it. So last thing, I uh, that and every I've had. Let's see. IBM, when it, it messed up, it, it got messed up. The oper what got messed up on it? Well, first the operating system got messed up. Oh, first the fan went bad. Put another, I, I, and I want to buy stuff for these because I have so many of these old computers. So I found a fan that would work in it, but it was still too loud for me to stand it in here. So I put it in the garage back in the summer, and it did okay, even when it was 115 degrees outside when I had a big fan blowing on it. But then uh, during the cool weather, we had a thunderstorm one night, and it kept the uh, power going out over and over. I know because I kept waking up here in my my uh, scanner. It makes noise when it comes back on from the power wall. And uh, it happened a bunch of times, like three to five times. And I didn't think about it uh, hurting anything. And, 
you know, that certainly, you know, those machines have been on, been done like that many times. But about a week later, I went out there and it was it was running, but it, n no operating system. It had uh, broken the root partition, is what it had done, and I couldn't fix it. So then, I decided, well, I'm gonna, I want a 64-bit machine, and that net for Mac 64-bit. So I set it up as a server. First, I got off on a sidetrack, and I, I want to see if I can make a DNS server to advertise my where my website is to the internet on that server along with my website and I got it it was hard really hard and I did a lot of learning I got it all up and running and it looked like it would work but then I found out I, I don't know how I would have just didn't realize you know uh, my, my uh, domain register GoDaddy in order to point your domain to uh, a DNS server it has to have two separate IP addresses they want you to have a backup server and you have to have two separate IP addresses and uh, and I couldn't set that up, so uh, I thought I'd be able to use my uh, afraid.org uh, forwarding service and, and it went along with that, but that wouldn't work. <coughs> so uh, so I went back to setting this up as a server, had it all running for about a month. I, it was my server for probably about a month maybe not that long and uh, I had just a few more things I wanted to do to it when I was going to put it in the garage because it's too loud and made too much heat to leave it in here it was really in the warm days it really bothers me it gets 80 you know 81 degrees in here when it's you know 77 in the rest of the house or something like that and uh, so uh, that's when the ethernet quit working it was just I just noticed it, well I got any notices saying it was offline so uh, <coughs> And during all that time, I also checked out some of the other machines in the garage, and they all need work, one way or the other. And uh, <clears throat> so uh, I've been looking at, uh, well, I forgot the model number, but a Hewlett Packard server, two six two six core processors and sixty four gig of RAM for three hundred bucks. I've been looking at it for a year. It, went, it just went down another uh, fifteen bucks. It was two sixty plus thirty seven dollar shipping. Uh, they're heavy, you know. They cost shipping. Uh, on, and on Amazon is <coughs> where I got it and I've been watching that one for, for about a year I think and uh, I've been interested in them for years and years but I've been really learning about them for about two years now watching videos uh, Morton's my playhouse channel he does server videos and he's an admin for, you know server admin guy so he really uh, he likes HP I mean he likes the uh, IBM, which now Lenovo bought out by Lenovo, for the best, but they're a lot more expensive, <coughs> and uh, so for Dells, and I, and they're pretty loud anyway. Every Dell I saw in a video, they're really loud. So, uh, <coughs> uh, oh, and this one does have hard drives, and that's what usually fails in them. But that you know that's fine. Uh, uh, you can put uh, two and a half inch SATA drives in them, and I've got. Two of them that I can put in there, so I'll, it comes with eight hard drives, and I'll probably take two of them out and put my two my two drives in there as just an, a separate, you know, uh, configuration. I forgot the right word just a second, but <coughs> and uh, anyway, the other drives are not very big. All of them together is like one point something terabytes. You know, they're old, older, older drives before they had these big drives. But uh, anyway. When I get it, I'll start. I'll set it all. I'll do some videos on it, <coughs> and hopefully, I saw some some videos tonight. Of, you know, showing exactly how loud they are, and uh, they say they their their general running. T uh, I think it was twenty dB or twenty two dB. That's not too bad. That's what fans, CPU fans, are, and usually have, uh, you know, three of them or so in a, in a machine. So, but now when they're starting up, they get really really loud. But once it's running, they're not they're not bad. But uh, anyway, that'll be, and so then I, I'll probably, what I'll, I'll see what works. I'll, I'll, if, if I can stand it in here, then I'll probably buy a video, because you can put a video card in them. That's another reason why I wanted to get that one. Um, get a video card for it and set it up either on Fedora or maybe Red Hat uh, and do virtualization. You can do virtualization in Fedora, too. That, that's how I've done it. I use VirtualBox, but I'll use use the. Uh, I want them to be the virtual machines to be running all the time, so uh, so I'll probably try to use uh, Fedora's virtualization. I'm not sure what they're what they're using right now, <coughs> but uh, they keep changing it, trying something new all the time. But or what Red Hat is using right now. <coughs> but uh, 
for a while they were using one called KVM, and anyway, I, I'm not sure what the one is. I looked at it and I forgot the name. Uh, it's something called, is it called Atomic? I don't know, but anyway. Um, uh, that's, I'm still going to, these can do, you know, I can fiddle around with these when I want to and have time, but uh, hopefully I'll get be able to get that up and running and I'll virtualize my server and operating system. And, uh, well, I may just put Fedora on it and then I put virtualization software on Fedora and then run my server on that and whatever else I might want to run in there. Uh, or I may have to put a hypervisor on there and run everything in a virtualization. What, what, even one way or the other. <coughs> and, uh, uh, but Red Hat has a hypervisor and that's why I might use Red Hat. And you don't have to, they have a program now where you can sign up and you can use you can use their stuff, the Red Hat stuff, without having to buy it. <clears throat> They've got a, I think they call it a developer program or something. Uh, they never had that before that I know of. <clears throat> and I've never re used any Red Hat products, but, well, I have, Fedora. Uh, but it's so, I know it's going to be quite similar, so I should be able to do that. But I won't if I don't have to because I know there'll be a learning curve. And uh, so anyway, I'm giving up on, on this as a server just because I got I got a real server now, <laughs> and because I knew, I knew with that old hard drive, it could fail any any second. You know, it, it's it's uh, it's it's uh, failing its self tests, and uh, I kind of uh, and I've seen them where they I've seen them where they run in those tests. I ran the hard drive test on it, and it said failed. It said failed. Well, it says that when you boot up the server, it says self test failed, <clears throat> but it's only got 117 bad sectors on it which I've seen a lot worse, and I've seen them run for five years, but not all day, every day, 24-7. That's the thing. 24-7, that's going to make it wear out, no telling how much quicker. So when you have a machine that you just turn on every so often, that's one thing. <coughs> that has, a, you know, an old drive in it, I think. But, uh, anyway. I just thought, uh, and I'm not using my all my Macs and everything because it takes a lot long time to set that stuff up. So, um, yeah, I realized I wanted I didn't want to just turn that on and not show it, you know. So I thought, well, I'll do that. Let's see, Let's see if it's still running. Yep, the lights are all the lights are all on, so I knew it was still running. But still, you gotta wait. And so hopefully it will just run all night and. Uh, <coughs> And I'll, and I'll know that at least it can be used that way. And I might, it's a server, all I have to do is copy my website to it. I might use it as my server until I get the other one set up, if it'll stay running. I was afraid I was gonna have to go around and around and around trying to figure out how to make it stay running and not shut itself down, because I didn't realize that I was I was turning the power off to it and it was running on the battery until the battery went down. I wasn't thinking about where I had it plugged in. <coughs> and so, uh, uh, I'm tired. You might be able to tell that. I've been well. I've, I've, I've compared and shopped and made sure that that server would do everything I needed to do before, even though it was a good price. I didn't want to just buy it until I went back through all my research and watched some more videos to see what it would do. See if it would <coughs> make sure it had enough wattage and the power supplies to, to the PCI bus in order to run a video card and all that stuff. And it, it will. Uh, I saw one video that said it'd run up to 75 watts. Uh, but I think that's everything the PCI bus can do. Yeah, that, I remember because I found, I found actually on the Amazon page where I bought it, I finally got to looking around and saw links to four PDFs. You know, the user manual, the repair manual, quick start, and oh, the ILO adapter manual. So I had never seen uh, all but just one of those before. I think it was the quick quick start guide, or not not quick start guide, but quick specs guide or something. I had that already. <coughs> but uh, so that's when I finally saw the exact wattage of the PCI. And uh, so the PCI card I was looking at uh, is 20 uh, 20 watts. Uh, doesn't need an extra external cord. So uh, that's cool because you have to 
find that core to begin with because it you know it's the server has a 10 pin and you got to get it convert from 10 pin to four or six or whatever it is you got or eight on your card a video card and so this way you don't have to worry about that uh, but I won't I didn't order one because I'm not sure I'll need it because if uh, if I can't stand to have it in here then there's no need for a video card because I will virtualize everything and use RAM you know give give RAM for the video memory uh, and, and the machine will be out in the garage and there'd be no need for a video card out there because it has on board 64 megabytes of on board which is enough to you know manage this thing but not enough to watch any videos or anything so when I get it and I run it a while a day or two I'll know right away in one, one day really if it's so loud I can't stand it in here then I'll get it set up I'll leave it in here and shut it down at night you know and then once I get it all set up with all the software I want on it then I'll take it out in the garage and I will and I'll also before I can take it in the garage I've got to put DDWRT on my uh, T T TP Link router, where is that thing? Over there. N750 TP Link router, I'll put DDWRT on it and make it a wireless repeater. I've already got that old Linksys out there, but it's about to die. It fluctuates all the way from, it's only doing about 15 megabits. It used to do 56 all day long, and now it does about 15 and then goes down to one and stuff sometimes. So that's the other thing why I haven't put, that's why I hadn't already put the Net for Mac server outside because I was waiting to get that. Uh, going in circles, trying to do everything, you know, too many things to do, not enough day, days in the week. <coughs> so, uh, anyway, yeah, I won't have to, I won't be able to just slap it right out the outside if I need to put it outside. Uh, so I still might, if this still will run, I'll, I'll, I'll use it for a while. And then, uh, otherwise I'll put a, either fig, you know, figure out what's wrong with the gigabit on that thing, if that won't work, because this would be, not noisy. I can't even hear it running. Well, I don't, it doesn't make as much heat, I'm sure, as that thing does at Net Pro Max. And but if if I need to, then I'll put a PCI network card in it, net connect, and and it'll be fine for that way. At least unless it just breaks. But I don't know the motherboard's going out on it. You know, I've never actually seen an onboard Ethernet go out of any speed. So uh, and we didn't have any lightning or anything like that. So. So, I thought this was going to be a five minute video, but I still kept talking. Okay, uh, that's my plans. See you later. <coughs>